How y'all dickheads doing it as I, once again, Dick Record, coming to you live from the studio in New York City. We're about to do a little bit of a uh, world of horror today, but before we get into it, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please like, share, and subscribe. More importantly, come over to twitch.tv slash Dick Record. Link in the description where you can cast stream video games, leather crafting, and other sort of nonsense every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from around 4 to around 8 Eastern Standard Time, but with that out of the way... City of Shiokawa, Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth aeons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at its last state. Uh, fuck, I wasn't done reading. Whatever. All right, so I want to play Mimi? You have to choose one experiment to perform. Sure. Before each investigation. Okay. We'll figure out what that shit's about. It's time to put my knowledge to use. All right, so challenge, difficulty, true believer. Oh, sure. We'll see where this goes. All right, so Alexandria 48 BC, the supposed cause of the destruction of the Library of Alexandria, a perfect black marble statue, has been recently rediscovered and is currently waiting in the Museum of Ooh for its long-awaited premiere. Old gods rule both you and enemies deal extra damage. Character exclusive perks only. Okay. Um. All right, so let's go home. Mimi's Obsession. Minus 20%. Jesus Christ. Whoa. These are low stats. Zero funds? What did I agree to? She's got a scalpel, which is her weapon, right? It's a pretty good weapon. So we'll give her that. All right. So damage four, speed 80, chance to hit 65. It uses knowledge. We want to keep our knowledge high. What's Mimi's little... Not here. Okay. What's Mimi's little thing? I'll go home. Fine. Um, randomize and continue. Check your mailbox. It's empty. Okay. You must commit yourself to one of your projects before continuing your investigation. What? Oh my god! I have to do this before each investigation? Random new injury, each mystery. Uh, that's way later graft bear claws to your toes fuck you cut off your kneecap bitch you crazy sell your kidney to finance your project minus three max stamina plus one that's not worth it implant a second human heart minus one charisma plus five percent doom that seems the least worse um replace the liquid in your eyeball with say why the fuck Oh, uh, it's... You have two toast. You don't need them both, right? Oh, God. Stab an ice pick through the nose to disable the pain receptors in your brain. Minus two knowledge, minus one incoming damage. Uh, forcibly rewire your vestibular system. Fail all event checks? Break your arm to form a new joint? You crazy bitch. I'm never going to finish this. All right. This one looks the least bad. Plus 5% doom, minus 1 charisma. Second human heart. Here we go. Aye. So we have minus 1 charisma, plus 5% doom. Hey, we got the empty bottle. Got some money. Let's uh, change clothes because the other ones are probably bloody. Let's go surfing. Yeah. Uh, Zed. Okay. I think we're going to go to the shower. We can't heal. We'll fill up the bottle and then we'll um, get the small expo boost and then we'll go mystery. I'm sorry, Feels. Inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. You've marked down five of them, hoping that there is something connecting them. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want. Beware, your decisions will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries. And we, I, I just found that we can reroll these if I don't like them. Human thaumaturgy, abnormal arms, 
bloody brief, eerie episode, rancid report of rotten ra ramun. Ram ramen. Okay, so let's uh, let's do the eels. Let's do the eels. While returning to your home, someone suddenly bumps into you. Did you know? You turn around. It's your friend living in the same apartment complex, Kana. That weird dude is back. You know, the one who studies fish. You shrug, opening the door. Kana follows and immediately enters the kitchen. Put, take your shoes off, Kana. A while later, she returns with... She... Is, is it a she or is it a he? In one ending, they called Kana a he. All right. Aren't you curious what weird fish did he bring this time? She grins. <laughs> oh my god, feels. You you gave up a target trip to look at that? Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna yucky yum. I, I like target though. I saw the creepy neighbor carrying some jars into his apartment. I wonder, what weird fish did he find this time? Will you check it out? He surely will recognize me if I try to do it myself. Please? Alright, alright, alright. So let's travel to the seaside. Uh, we have a weapon, so I don't really... Oh, we don't have any money. Never mind. Let's just investigate the seaside. Twice. Alright, you can't shake the feeling. That's some... That, ooh, pardon me. That those small dock buildings hide some terrible secrets. Plus 2%. Nah, fuck you. Investigate seaside again. But, but what about the food? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I... I feel that feels, especially like when you go to like their clearance areas and it's just like, man, I don't need this, but it's like 50% <laughs> something gigantic and invisible leaves a deep void in the sea. It's not moving, but you swear it's watching you. Minus two reason. Fuck you, game. Minus one reason. Cool. All right, fine. You know what? I'll, I'll whatever. You may be going crazy, but you swear something's watching you from the sea. Let's consider a change of scenery. It's getting boring by the say. All right, we're going to investigate the apartments. Oh, God. Hopefully, while the kids aren't home, a heat wave continues with record temperatures. Ah, fuck you, game. Continuing your investigation takes more and more effort. Minus two stamina. Screw this game. This game rude. Dude, working at school, right? We could break into his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? It must be empty because he just came back and his classes begin next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We shouldn't. All right. Hayate is reading a horror manga about spirals. Join. Minus one strength. Get the fuck out of here. They are waiting for class to begin. They look fine. Join. Always such a kidder. Um, Hikaru's reading a horror manga about spirals. You two join. Give me a break. Um, observe. Doi is waiting for class to begin. They seem relaxed. Join. Always such a kidder. All right. Um, I'm going to tell you a story. And you're going to join. Plus one charisma. Perfect. It offsets the charisma I lost by adding another heart. They're going to learn eventually anyway. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. It's not it's not great, but it's fair. I think I was talking with um frying pan and they were pointing out that um Yeah, cause cause we were talking about how, how my girlfriend knew what OnlyFans was. Cause we were joking around about it. And she was like, How do you know what OnlyFans is? And I was like, How do you know what OnlyFans is, you know? And 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 so like frying pan's like, I think everyone over the age of fourteen knows it at this point. It's kinda like us with the you know, pH and I was like, Oh, uh yeah shit <laughs> and like i don't like it you stumble upon the computer room this is a good opportunity to check the school's database to look for anything that might help your investigation check 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 it out i have pretty high knowledge so we're gonna hope knowledge check failure i rolled a 12 fuck you game mice to reason you find a curious folder containing photos with rising horror you discover that you're in every one of them oh no that's my teeth that looks bad the last photo shows a smiling man standing over your bed. Minus two reason. Yeah, that would do it. The neighbor's office at school is empty. You do find a few jars all filled with weird eel-like fish. Despite your protests, Kana decides to leave to take one jar home. Oh, 
Oh, it's already too late. It's already too late. She knows me too well, feels dry. Have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. Don't you have a feeling like it's watching us? How could she sip her soda so calmly, staring at this creepy creature? Creepy crawlers. Let's investigate the apartments. I know, I can't do these things anymore. You find an envelope lying on a pillow in your bedroom. Inside is cash and a note from someone who's been watching you. They wish you luck in your task and promise to meet you soon. Just how did this envelope get up in your room? Ah, you know, I have like no reason. My brain's about to fall apart. I've seen them burning some notes behind our apartment building. Let's go check it out. Is this eel even alive? Eh. Let's uh, go to the hardware store. I want a flashlight. There we go. Let's equip that. Plus one perception. Alright, let's go to the investigate the apartments. I think I'm gonna die. Alright, feeling like you are on the brink of losing your mind, you decide to visit your parents' old friend, Father Yasugi. Yasugi-sensei! Oi, kiddo, says the priest who's currently moving some boxes in and out of the church building. Could you lend me a hand? Yeah, lift the heaviest box. Ah. Lifting the box, you feel your back cracking, but you manage to get it all over with relatively quickly. Afterwards, Father Yasugi invites you inside for a cup of hot tea and some home-baked cookies made by one of the parishioners. You explain your situation to him. The priest listens, letting you vent all of your doubts and anxiety. Plus three reason. Thank God. Minus one stamina. I don't give a shit. Oh, man. We got no brain here. Kana was right. Someone tried to burn some papers. They must have been in a hurry because some of the papers look salvageable. You both return to your apartment and try to decipher the nudes. Let's look at these notes. Legend from the prefecture, eels tell us of a small village of robbers who would kill all visitors and dump their coops into a lake full of eels. Yeah. Eels of the prefecture who would lay their eggs inside human, human, blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. Um, let's get out of here. It's so weird. Your neighbor is really into eels, it seems. Yeah. Being to wonder if spying on your neighbor was a good idea to begin with. Yep. No. When you stop by home to pick up your lunch, you find a pile of letters in your mailbox. I bet it's bills. Oh, man. Minus two funds. Tough shit. We only had one. Eat a dick. I'm glad I went to the store. Luck check failure. Staying up late investigating the current case has really increased your electricity bill. Minus two funds. It's always bills. Um, there must be something more we can learn. I'll try to break into his apartment tomorrow morning. I wonder what he's hiding in there. All right, Fields, you have a good night. Don't forget to to make that Nezgul box. I'm just at this point. I'm 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 killing the joke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But thanks for stopping by, dude. You have a good evening. All right. And if you don't, I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> Just that little angry emoji. <laughs> you shrug non-committally. You just wish you could throw this damn jar in the trash. Alright, well, not today, I guess. Oh, fuck me. Alright. Um... It's a bad time to be out of cash, says the grim-looking man who's standing in your way. Our company uh, fortunately specializes in cases like yours, and will gladly help you to get back on track after all. He takes a step closer, and you could swear there's a faint smell of rust around the man. Everyone has something to sell. Um, I'm gonna give him my fondest memory. I think this is experience. Minus three. Fuck, I fucked that up. All right. Everything suddenly gets dark. You feel sad, but you can't even tell why. In your pocket, you find an envelope with cash inside. Cool. Make it into a train wreck. Oh. You should just do what um George Carlin did that one time on The Tonight Show. I think it was The Tonight Show. He just showed up and he just stood there and he just stared at the audience. And people eventually started to crack up because they, they, didn't, they didn't realize this would be it. And so as they... Slowly came to realize that they just like people started to laugh more and more and more. Um, thinking about how stupid it is of Kana to try and break into your neighbor's apartment, you go to sleep. Yeah, uh, you spend an entire day waiting for Kana. Where the hell is she? 
Um, I go to school. Glenn to school. Ah, fuck me. She said she would do everything to be with you, even if it meant to cheat death itself. Minus two all. Oh god, this will kill me. Uh, 18 HP stalker girl. She's a stalker girl in a stalker world. Ooh, no, we're running. Run away. Launch. Get out of that. I just, I can't. I'll take the I'll take the uh, the the loss. You found you successfully run from Stalker Girl. Yeah, escape. Khan has been missing since yesterday. You decide to check out the neighbor's apartment yourself. Oh boy, this is gonna do a lot of s sanity damage, isn't it? Ooh, you cautiously enter your neighbor's kitchen. You're shocked to see countless jars filled with eels flailing around restlessly. Where the hell is Khan? You know what's funny is these kind of look like dancing dookies. Son of Tice, holy shit! I. Hey, what's up, Banana Brigade? What's up? Tice, how was your stream? What's up, real super stick man? Clang, how you doing? Pocket Goth, welcome back. Tice, how was your stream? What were you guys up to today? Welcome aboard, everybody. I'm Dick Record, also known as Dick Record. Um, I don't know, that's a bit of a mouthful. Stream well, you played some Halloween-themed music. Oh, oh shit, was today a uh, music month? Oh, fuck, today is Monday. So yeah, music Monday. Was it was it a clone? You, damn! Somebody can afford clones over here, Mister Rockefeller. <laughs> oh God, toast! Don't do that to yourself. Just, just, re just, just relax. Lie down and like I don't know, play a game on your phone. Don't do that to yourself, man. Don't do that to yourself. So uh, everybody, welcome aboard. Dick Record playing uh, some World of Horror. Um, I think I'm going to die pretty soon, actually. I'm a stray hot dog. A stray hot dog. You gotta be careful with those strays, man. Um, I think I'm about to, like, accidentally get myself killed here. I'm gonna use the uh, water here. Um, there's no combat here. We're about to finish the first mystery. Um, bedroom? There's Kana. I, I found the neighbor. But when his eye burst, I slipped on my blood and lost consciousness. I'm afraid there's something in my own eye now, too. All right. So if I puncture her eye, I lose most of my reason. I'm about to die. Fuck it, YOLO. There's no way I don't... Guys, look away. Look away. I can't even handle this one. Did I get it? Oh, balls. Christ, this little sperm's crawling out of her eye. This is how you get pregnant, guys. Oh god, shocked. You see tiny eels crawling out of your friend's eye in all directions. Oh god, Son of Tice. It's a fantastic game. And if you haven't played it, I highly recommend it. Um, it just went into full release 1.0, like, a f maybe last week. Um, I don't even have nostalgia for this type of game, but I think it's amazing. Um, all the art was done in like, uh, what was it called? Um, MS Paint, which is also like fucking, um, it's fucking wild to think about that. Like they, they made all these art assets in MS Paint, right? To sort of emulate the whole feel of how Junji Ito's art style would work in this type of game, as well as, um, like, you know, the whole concept of, of trying to defend your town from Lovecraftian horrors from beyond the stars or already here. Will Kana even survive the blood loss? I hope. You rest at the hospital with Kana get, getting a lot of attention from horrified people. Your friend is taken immediately to the op operating theater and you collapse in a chair in the waiting area. Fall asleep. Wake up, dude. You've been sleeping for over three hours. You groggily open your eyes to see your friend. Kana is wearing an eye patch. Not so pretty anymore, eh? I couldn't tell exactly tell the doctor the truth about what happened. And I'm pretty sure I won't be winking with my left eye anytime soon. Well, thank you for saving my life. Sure. I'm about to die. I have like two reasons. Um, you're still processing the events of the previous night. Corpse eating eels that lay their eggs in eyes. Sitting with your friend Kana before your apartment building. You watch the police officers emptying out your neighbor's place. Ending A. Experience, experience, minus two doom. A little bit of healing and time passes. We're going to die. We have like two reasons. Old Godsters, what's going on? Ah, oh, fuck you! This is the worst one. Oh, 
Oh no, like from Mortal Kombat? This is the worst one. Okay, so between missions, you have the, um, or between investigations, you have the time, the chance to, um, go back to your apartment, rest, you know, recuperate, right? And, and then consider your next move. But when you have contaminated water, it prevents you from resting because you rest by like taking a nice hot bath. Um, so that sucks. I can't even heal between missions now. Also, this girl, for whatever reason, her thing is she likes to um, perform surgery on herself. So every before every mission, I have to hurt myself. Minus three max stamina, plus one funds. Ugh. And I never know what to do. Minus two knowledge, plus minus one incoming damage. Ugh. Minus one luck and fail all event checks. Minus one strength, slower combat actions. I guess we're going to get minus one strength. I'm going to be running from a lot of these combats. See, like, we can't even take a bath. They still didn't fix the water problem. It's black and oil and glistening. No way you're going to wash yourself in that. Eh, fuck me. Fuck me. It also ruins my ability to use the empty bottle to, like, get some more water. To then carry that around to heal with. So, we're going we're gonna to die soon. I know it. Tragic Tale of the Thaumaturgy Teacher. I don't know which the one this is, so we're going to go in there. All right. 2B used to be one of the most outstanding classes in the school, at least before their teacher's disappearance. Her replacement glides through the school, entrancing all those around her with, so with her soft voice and emotionless eyes. Now she stands at the front of the class, scribbling occult symbols in chalk and hissing lessons about the old gods. The children no longer play, but sit in their seats until dark, chanting along, learning of their eldritch masters and preparing to serve them. In fact, you can almost hear them right now. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family. I don't know the rest of that song from Barney. I'm sorry. I was trying. Investigate. All right. So following a rumor, you visit the house of the schoolgirl who acted really strange in class. The girl's parents sit crying in the living room and fearfully point you upstairs. Investigate downtown twice. All right. I guess. Um. Downtown. Oh, God. Maximum doomed. Um, it's, oh god, that's, that's risky. Never mind, I'm not gonna investigate downtown twice. That place is fucked. Alright, a sudden blast of heat grabs your attention. An older man standing next to you screams in pain as he's engulfed in fire from seemingly nowhere. As other people start to panic and help the burn victim, you spot a hooded woman standing in the distance. When she sees you, she starts to run. You can't shake off the feeling that you were the target of the sup supernatural attack. Only good. I, I, so like it was. It was telling me like downtown right now is the most dangerous. Pursue, pursue the hidden woman. Fuck. Dexterity checked failure. Of course I failed. I rolled a fucking ten. All right. So every time you um do one of these things, you basically ro roll a hidden die. It's like I think a twelve sided die, and it has to be lower than your stat. Um, the hooded woman or equal or lower than the hooded woman disappears behind the corner and when you get there she's gone already mixed in with the crowd they failed to stop you today but you're sure they'll try again and again that wasn't terrible we just got some extra doom she sits in her bedroom in a bloodstained uniform a dead rat lying in her hands asked why she killed it she just grins cool downtown's fucked though like the danger levels like minus two modifier all skill checks stamina and reason de uh, penalties increased and doom penalty for investigating this location that's just not good i i don't like it there i don't like it there we're just we're not gonna go there mr ooze your neighbor is a horror manga artist they changed this art asset he used to look more like junji ito he's struggling to come up with a satisfying ending for his newest story let's see so i think this gives him experience points let him come up with his own stuff what's that picture um yeah rolled a 12 out of 12 oh so i had to roll lower than my stamina okay incroyable he shouts in no incroyable he shouts in excitement how come no how do you come up with this stuff eh? 
Sensing this story will be a huge hit, he pays you a token of appreciation. I gave him my experience points. I don't know if that was smart, but he gave me money. Resolve. Um, is there a... There's a dog store. Wait, wait, wait. See, we could have our own music stream here. Okay. <laughs> What's up, Ross? Welcome back. Um, I could use a backpack, but I could also use a map. Has a small chance of lowering doom. Backpack is slot B, but we get two more slouts. I don't know if I want it over the flashlight. Cigarettes, bad. One knowledge. Flash adds a chance to incoming attack. Look at the map. We're going to equip it. Another lead, the former teacher of the class, may prove useful. Knocking on their door, however, gets you no answer. Just a subtle chittering behind the door. Oh, that's bad. Investigate the village. Hey, what's up, G-Tech? How you doing, dude? I got you. And thank you. <laughs> More beers? Did you at least eat something? Let's see. A friend returning fr from a trip to Africa has invited you to dinner. This time, they've really outdone themselves. This is a real feast full of exotic meats. It's getting late and you can't stay for long. But the host asks if you want to take anything home with you. That wine is terrific. Give me the booze. Of course. I Wait. Of course. Uh, I have enough bottles to last the whole year. Your friend says, handing you a bottle plus item. All right. So the bottle gives you reason. Flip this card. It's addictive. Whatever. I need... The reason. I got a hangover. Fuck, I forgot that that gives you a hangover. Okay. Little boy from the school has been attacked by his classmates. That's fucked. Oh shit. What is this? Minus one modifier to skill ch checks. Stamina, stamina and reason penalties increased. Fuck. You didn't eat. It's been 20. That was two hours ago and it was 20 hours. It's been 22 hours. Then you'll make food. Hey, some people do. Look, Mimi Mimi's e easily gets hangovers. You meet with your friend who's recently started her nurse practice. You lazily chat on the roof of the hospital watching the sunset. Summer, did you eat? Now would be the perfect opportunity to ask about the recent unearthly attacks. Ask about them! Minus two reason. Fuck. Alright. Her story suggests about missing patients, mysterious surgeries, and a strange infections are helpful, but they kill the mood. You must leave this place. Plus 10 experience, minus 2 reason. And plus it's another minus 1 because the, 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 um, there's another penalty. Alright, just be careful you don't burn yourself, because I, I suck at cooking sober. And I'm always worried about burning something. Um... You find him in the hospital, covered in bites. Just what is this whole summoning that he speaks of between his sobs? Let's go to the hospital. Fucking hell. Also dangerous. Let's go to the hospital. You're stopped by two nurses, ready to apologize and explain yourself. You notice their weird smiles, dead stares, and sharp knives. Um, there's two of them, too. Anomaly attendant and corpse caregiver. Yay. I'm gonna do this right now and run away. Get out of there. It's dangerous here. Your reason penalty increased. Oh no, you successfully run from anomaly attendant. Perfect. With no other ideas, you decide to wait outside the school itself. Alright. School seems safe. Oh. Oh boy. Uh, hearing an eerie sound coming from behind the door, you decide to check it out. At first glance, the abandoned classroom seems empty. Once your eyes get used to the darkness, you discover an unusual sigil drawn on the floor. Judging by the smoke, someone put out the candles the moment you entered. <clears throat> Study the writing on the chalkboard. Fuck! I killed myself. You decipher 
the occult instructions and let the forbidden knowledge fill your brain. Minus two reason. Minus two reason. Stamina plus spell. There's a way I can get out of this. No, there isn't. Never mind. If it gave me the spell, I could forget the spell for some reason. There we go. The encounter was the final straw. Your mind is snapped and you've been locked up in an asylum. It would be comforting to accept that you were insane, that no old god is awaking to devour humanity. But the drugs haven't made these horrors disappear. Ah, shit. I hate Mimi. She sucks. I, 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 you know, like Mimi typically is like, okay, but like the true believer difficulty plus like her, her thing where she's just like, I'm going to cut myself open a lot. Oh, what a pain in the ass. Learned a new spell. Book of Gore. Can I see this spell? No, of course not. Learn a new spell. Fresh regrowth. Abolish. It's too much for your mind. Are you just giving me spells? Oh, they're just keeping giving me spells if I keep clicking. That's a bug. Well, shit. She seems like a bug. What do you mean? What does that even mean? I never understood that. Um, To get silver in Apex. Let's Mimi's got problems. Uh, like her, her whole thing is like before every investigation, she has to do surgery on herself. You know, so like I don't know if it's a fetish or if it's like an addiction. Like some people have an addiction to getting surgical procedures done on them, and I think that that's very bad for them, and that those people need to seek help. Like real talk. Um, I I can't imagine. Like I've had surgery once, and I was like, no, no. If we could do that never again, that'd be great. Um, if you're watching on the YouTube, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, more importantly, come over to twitch.tv slash dick record. Oh, no. My face is unhooked itself. Oh, shit. All right. Um, we're going to raid out, though, you guys. Guys, we're going to raid out. How to explain something that... Mm, you could use, like, slow words. You, 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 you talk very deliberately, right? You go, like, me... Cook food in heat box. No touchy. Ow. <laughs> it's similar to an NPC. Oh, like, like, um, essentially you're calling them, uh, what was it called? Like, um, one of the AI, uh, computer controlled something. Like like a computer controlled character is that what it means? I I thought that like, so like pretty bad at ga video games is what you're saying. I'm pretty bad at video games. She's terrible. She just wanted to die. Uh, let's raid out. I don't know who to raid. Give me a second. I can figure it out though. Let's see. I'm in two people's chats right now. And let's see. Raided them recently. Raided them recently. I haven't raided her since she came back. So I streams. Oh, but I don't think I've ever rated. Oh no, I have. Hmm. In a second, I'm scrolling down to the bottom. No, no, I'm terrible at video games. You kidding me? I keep fucking dying. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay to be bad at video games, guys. There's more to life than being good at video games. I just don't know what that is yet. Um, <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this person's doing something I've never seen them do. I'm curious. I don't know if we're going to raid them. Okay, they're actually... Oh, they're carving a pumpkin. Alright. It's not interesting enough. Um... Trying to figure out who to raid. Give me a second. Give me a second. You guys have been fantastic, though. Thank you all for coming to watch me scream at video games. You can hate every moment of that playthrough. Oh, God. No, nah, I don't I don't think I'm going to go back to that. Listen, I suck at Remnant, actually. I'm, like, really bad at it. Like, on my own, I can't even do, like, very much survival. I just kind of die. Um, I, di I die before I even hit the first fucking boss. Um, like, it's pretty bad. It's pretty, it's pretty like, oh. You know, um, where, you know, did this person get off? Shit. Oh, there they are. 
Uh, they're playing. Eh, no, never mind. That's kind of boring. Uh, oh, I know who we could bring the party to. Someone who's also doing a spooky game. A spooky game. Ooh. Ooh. Aw. Hey, Lincoln's pretty good. Link is better at that fucking game than I am. He fucking, like, he knows exactly when to do all the dodges and everything. Like, I never really see him get hit. He's just like, he'll, like, dodge, like, the moment he needs to. It's like, and it won't be, like, the, the rolling dodge. It'll just be, like, the, what's it called? The standing dodge. But, I mean, like, I feel like every time I've done co-op, um, co-op survival, I feel like I'm just being carried and, and, and kind of, like, holding everyone else back. Like, I just, I feel like I'm not useful at all, you know, except for, of course, eating bullets. I'm good at eating bullets. Oh, and I never, I'm never the guy who did the most friendly fire because I'm also the person who shoots the least amount of bullets and I'm just bad at the game. Um, but yeah, like I can't make use of, of, of things like the back dodge because I panic dodge a lot. Right. And like, I know that he knows how to play the game way better than me because he just understands like, whoop. Oh, never mind. This person's also getting raided. I'm getting out of here. I'm not contributing to a double raid. Give me a second. I was about to raid that person. And it's like, nah, they're already being raided. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Um. Damn it. You know who I wish was on, but they're not? <sighs> yeah, they're, they're not. Okay. Um. You know, I haven't. Let's see. Oh, God. Oh, no. This is just fucking that game. I hate that game. All right. Oh, it's been a while since we actually hung out with this dude. Let me make sure that they're going to be on. Damn, they've been on for two hours now. Usually they do like something crazy. Okay. 250 ping you want ping to be low right <laughs> damn it ross be nice to lincoln he's a sweet guy hmm then i have the lowest ping we're talking about penises right we're talking about dingles Oh god, I should I should stop now. I want to thank you all for joining me today, guys. I am fucking starving. I need to make dinner. Uh we'll be back. I think we're gonna be back tomorrow, actually. I wanna do a leathercraft stream. I haven't done one of those in like a while, and it'll be a spooky leathercraft stream. Um, because I'm gonna make something spooky. Well, not starving. Like I'm not I'm not wasting away. I should be doing squats. I know. I know. Your ISP told you how the internet works. Uh oh. They're just being extra careful. They have to make sure they don't drop the uh, the the packets, right? They they can't drop those packets. You drop a packet, all of a sudden, uh oh, that fell. It's broken. It's broken. So yeah, I think it's a maybe. It's a maybe. It's a maybe. I need to I need to set up I need to set up some things and get some files done proper so that we can do it tomorrow. Um, but yeah, yeah. I want to thank you all for joining me today. You guys in the front, the chatters, y'all in the back, the lurky loose. Special thanks to Son of Tice. Angry Scar 09. Uh, Ross the Boss. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to do this off the top of my memory. I know there was other people. Devarion. I think I'm missing somebody. I think it was like five. I think it was five. Jesus Christ, was it five? Did five of you motherfuckers read my dumbass? Um, Alright, I'm cheating. Son of Tice, Angry Scar. Ross the Boss. Uh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Devarion. Yeah, it's a lot of raids. Holy shit. For for the awesome raids, Deucey Fruit for the biddies, um, Tay, Jesus Christ, Tay, that's too many. That's too many gifted subs. Um, for way too many gifted subs, which you never should do under any circumstances, because you're you're that that's just it's illegal. Um, as well as subscribing by herself and John for for biddies as well. Um, we'll be back possibly tomorrow. I'm I'm hoping for tomorrow. Um, to do a spooky leather craft to the theme. We'll see. Um. Before we go, though, if you haven't gotten your COVID-19 vaccine and it's reasonable for you to do so and it's available in your area, please get your shots because that shit can save your life. And that's 
all that I care about. Um, I almost typed that in wrong. We're going to raid Alex. Did he really get raided 83 times? Oh, you're talking about me. I'm sorry. We're going to raid Alex Misono, who's currently playing um, Dead Space, the remake. The remake. The remake. Holy shit, there's 25 of you people? What do you mean, you people? Shut up, brain. Um, uh, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of nuts. I can't. My parries suck. My parries suck. When I play Sekiro, I do the parry dance where you just kind of keep going. Wait, wait, wait. Dramatic reenactment. <laughs> That's me in Sekiro. That's me parrying in Sekiro. Just me standing there in front of a boss. Just going. Alright. Um, you guys are awesome. Never change unless it's for the better. I don't. I've never played a difficult game on this stream. That shit pisses me off. I get so frustrated. Uh, I'm going to run the credits, though, because I will otherwise ramble. I will otherwise ramble, and then the thing will just raid us out without, like, even a second guess. Guys, if you have your own raid message, I... It was... It, it, real talk, it was kind of easy once you figure everything out. Um, if you have your own raid message, please feel free to use it. I provide it, too. The first one with the black cat emotes, based on my little girl, Summer, is for subscribers. Um, but if you're not a subscriber, I don't want you to feel pressured to subscribe, which is why we have the second one. It's creepier and it's slimier. But until next time, stay safe out there. Don't eat snow. Remember, if you're not here, you are ticklish. Have